my channel and before I start don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will read the article by Abdi Sheikh. Mogadishu Ritor. At least 12 people were killed when Al Qaeda linked militants attacked a hotel in Somalia's capital Mogadishu, seizing hostage whom authorities were still battling to free 24 hours later, an intelligence officer said on Saturday. The attacker blasted their way into the Hyatt Hotel on Friday evening with two car bombs before opening fire. Somalia's al Shabab insurgents claim responsibility so far. We have confer confirmed 12 people, mostly key villains, dead. Mohammed, an intelligent an intelligence officer who only gave one name, told Twitter's. The gunmen were holding an unknown number of hostages on the second floor of the building, Mohammed said, preventing authorities from using heavy weapons. Uh, they had also bombed out the stairs to make it harder to access sustained floors, he said. As the state entered its second day on Saturday evening, authorities had secured 95% of the building. The state broadcaster of Somali National Television said the broadcaster did not give an update number of casualties. Thus, battling the militants inside the hotel in Kulgasman, a, a, a paramilitary force specializing in counter in Insurgency, a former security official familiar with the force of the Reuters. The, the, the detonation sent out plumes of smoke over the busy junction on Friday night and the sound of gunfire still crackled across the capital on Saturday evening. Explosions were, were heard on Friday night as government forests tired to was control of the hotel back from the militants witness said. Large section of the hotel were were destroyed by the fighting they said. Friday's attack was the the first such major incident since President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed took office in May. The United States condemned the attack and said it was steadfast in its support of Somali and African Union led efforts to counter terrorism. We express our heart heartfelt cond condolences to the families who lost loved ones. We support a recovery to the last injured and common Somalia security force. U.S. states department spokesman made prices in a statement. The Al Qaeda linked Al Shabab group claimed responsibility for. The attack according to a translation by the site intelligence group, which monitored jihadist group statement. Al-Shabaab has been fighting to people the Somali government for more than 10 years. It wants to establish its own role based on a strict inter interpretation of Islamic law. The Hyatt Hotel is a popular venue with lawmakers and other government officials. There was no immediate inform information on whether any of them had been chalked up in the sake. The we are express our heartfelt conduct condolences to the families who lost loved ones with for recovery to thus injured and common Somali security force. U.S. State Department spokesman Ned Price said in a statement, the Al-Qaeda link al shabab group crime responsibility for the attack according to a translation by the site, by the site intelligence group which monitor jihadist group statement. Al Shabab has been fighting to people the Somali government for more than ten years. It wants to establish establish its own rule based on a strict interruption of Islamic law.
The Hyatt Hotel is a popular venue with lawmakers and other government officials. There was no immediate information on whether any of them had been chalked up in the site. Okay guys, that's all from me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.